Uh, I know, I know. I'm a bad person. I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh. One day we will. That might be why I didn't want to use that one. And one day we'll figure out what's going on with the audio as well. Okay, this is something I wanted to do before we go further. Five and a quarter. Or five and three quarter, five and three quarter. Five and three quarter. Five and three quarter. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Let's put the very small one bike, because I can still use you. I'm sorry if I can't hear you, because, well, everything's broken. Please do tell Santa. Please do tell. Ah. Okay, ads are over. <laughs> All right. And here's, here's hoping that it remembers how to speak again here soon. All right, we're going to put this one up. For right now, I'll get it properly stacked later. Actually, let me get it properly stacked now. Ugh. There we go. Then we'll just stack these little miscreants here. Ah, we got two goals tonight. One, we're going to cut this in half because that's these are going to be new backboards. And then two, we're going to fettle the hell out of a plane. Nope, not you. I grabbed the wrong plane. Sorry, coming back, coming back. So we'll go ahead and get you out as well. Put you back in here. Put you back there. Put you back here as well. Do I have a, I do not have a mark here. Um, I made a big mistake. <laughs> I was cocky. Give me two seconds. I'll, sh I'll, I'll try and show you. One of the cameras is down. So like close ups are not going to be very good. Okay. There. And then uh, we'll get that in there in a bit. One second. Try and get as focused as I can. There we go. So, let's give you the worst example of what happened. Uh, okay, do you see this dado? Of course not. It's, I'm hoping you can tell. But if you can see this dado, and then you see that it's all of a sudden really wide here, I cut about an, it, the plane jumped all out of the socket here, out of the dado, and just plowed through the wall right there. I'm hoping that's, that that was visible. You can kind of tell. There we go. Okay, yeah, this this will help. You can definitely tell here where the the plane just jumped out of the dado and just cut the wall away right here. Yeah. I was getting cocky and doing things faster than I should have and it jumped.
Um, but we have enough spare wood to be able to salvage this. This is already a pre-dimensioned piece, so we're going to put you over on the stack of good wood. We're going to cut this in half, and then to be able to re-dimension wood, we're doing something fun tonight. And I'll go ahead and give you guys an idea. Here's the original blade and keeper. And here's the upgrade. It's a hawk. Um, it almost fits in. It almost fits in. So I, I, I need to fettle this just a tiny bit more open. And we should have our, ourselves a uh, really, really smooth cutting plane. But the first thing we're going to do is cut this board in half so that we have two four-foot boards to work with. Okay, let's go put this on something else. Oh, look, another shelf. So let's get this done first, you know, and then the fun work later. <sighs> yeah, like this. Up uh, oh, and that is a slime getting home. Getting home a little late today. She even went into work early. Okay, we're gonna do. Gonna do this. Did I bring my? Oh, well, here's fun. I'm thirsty and my tea is still inside. Ooh. Guys, give me a quick hold. I'm gonna put you on a BRB so I can get my tea and the pirate hat. Because that's inside too. Um, so BRB, about five. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. I just like, I was like, I'm thirsty. And then I went, somebody didn't think too far ahead to actually bring their, to bring their drink in like usual. All right. Unfortunately, this is gonna be a weird one for us. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird one. Let's see if I can do it. Because I don't have. Hey, look at all the people.
people coming in. Then again, Yankee knows what's going to be coming up after I cut this board already. All right, there's that. And then hell, I'm just going to make it easy here. How you doing, Drew? All right, we're going to cut this board in half. Then we're going to get on to making a plane better. Yep, you're my cross. Cross cut. Chris Cross. And I know that right now, okay. Actually, we, we can do it from this side. We can do it from this side. It doesn't matter. One side's going to have my butter, one side's not. <laughs> I guess this one's for you, Cat. <sighs> Give me a little bit more room to swivel that down. All three, all three, all three, Drew. Now, if I could only get TTS working. to get to danger zone. Okay, what did we do last time? Of course. Do we got an empty bucket? Empty bucket. Not quite enough. Do we got some wood to put under this empty bucket? Need to make it taller. Need to make it taller. Uh, we just got to wait for that. It, it's it's goofy and bugged. It'll start working at some point. The uh, the TTS. Yes, it is plugged in. <laughs> but I will double check because I was stupid enough to know that it wasn't plugged one point. Wait a minute. We got plenty of scrap, don't we? There we go. That's what we're going to do. Do, 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 do. You're a scrap. You're some scraps. Let's try and make it where I don't break this out. All right, do I got a couple more three quarter inch pieces? Oh, yeah, there we go. Support. Got a support. Think about it. Move that support out as far as possible so it doesn't try to teeter. will be the two new backboard pieces to replace the old ones. Do -do -do. And now we put on our fine reading glasses and do the thing I don't want to do, that I do need to do. But honestly, I'm excited for it to be able to be done. 
See if I can just bring you guys back. Let's see. How hard is it going to be to get you to sit? Okay. So, yeah, we're definitely going to want to use the leg vice for this. Okay, cool. And yes, the leg vise is not complete yet, but we can still make it work. I don't have the lower guide, but I do have a, I've got a big old chunk of wood to help keep it from compressing too far. try to make things where you can actually see me and see what I'm doing. You know, the grand magnum opus. I'm terrible. Okay. One thing that would be good for the uh, OBS bots For some reason, you guys are <laughs> the developers of that guy are watching for some reason. One good thing for it, a hotkey for zooming in and out would be awesome instead of having to hope that it recognizes that I exist. trick from Jesus okay good enough Uh, come on. Ooh, what if I do this? Can I do that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, okay, nope, it does not like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That might be part of the reason why. Hey. Most perch goes to plywood mills. Doesn't sit long enough for the fungus to take. TTS is back. What's this about? Spalted wood? Yankee underscore X said, rotten like turn black and falls apart. Oh yeah, that's bad rotten. That's not the beautiful said, rotten. Falling apart is no bueno. All right, well, we at least have some way to do that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Nice. 
I've got a lot of cherry and walnut where I'm at. Time to void. I actually have a shirt that says, OMG, look at that grain and bling bling. And you haven't mailed it to me? Yep, 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 Okay. Here comes the. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! My file's too big. It's too thick. Chen said, lots of screws here and graphics. But it's not the only flat file I have. Okay, I am annoying myself Um, somebody clipped that. So, somebody clipped that. Appar apparently, Cat has annoyed herself. We have hit a new low. Okay, good. My bastard file works, but not the big boy. That's probably the exact thickness I need, anyway. Okay. Okay, let's get another chunklet. We're gonna do this because I don't like that cherry hitting the ground there. We're gonna do this. Yep, can't wait till I finish off this vise and put the leg, uh, put that little blocking plate back into into the new one. But hey, okay, there we go. Okay, that should be enough. Bring over the I'm not standing while doing this chair. Uh, will it recognize me? Because I feel like you guys would benefit from a close up. All right. Sweet. L for loser, come on, zoom in. You recognized me, but now you don't. Come on. You're seeing the signal, but you're not doing it. Is it this hand? You want this hand? Does that help? Well, we at least got it to follow me. It loves me that much. So the thing that's happened is this blade, I have tried hell and high water to get to work right, and I'm done f tinkering with it. So what I'm doing instead is I'm going to fit the plane to this beast And all it needs is to be widened a little bit to the mouth just needs to be widened a hair. To allow that blade through. And 
I'm just going to take that out because there we go. So on today's how, how woodworking works, voiding the warranty on your plane. Not advised unless your plane is 100 years old. Yeah, see, like, yeah, we got to, but that's already better. Feel bad that Mecca can't watch me do this. That's how his work's going and all. I think he'd enjoy watching me fettle a plane. Hey look, we got these boards of destroyer wood that I can test on. This is going to be a long, slow process because you don't get, you don't get arrogant with it. Okay, that's going to let me pull it back some. Also, I want this in as far as possible. One of those, there's so many weird things I'm doing all at once. Let me get a long flat head so I can get to this because this is supposed to go in as let's get you in as far as possible get as much throw as I can on you okay you are as forward as forward can be and that is not where we want you okay so we want to do then loosen you back pull the frog back to about there put the screws in if I can sorry I'm probably blocking the camera What we're trying to achieve is a slightly more open mouth so that this hawk blade can do its justice. Okay, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good, doing good. Let's see how this baby works. Okay, one second. <sighs> Not 
quite right. That's the problem I'm having right now. At maximum everything, it's just barely sticking out. But... It tells me I just need to attack this side then. Because you put this in. I mean, the iron is... Maybe I'm just being too conservative on the iron. because of how picky the uh, number six was in the first place. question is, how is this sitting down? This is the fun kind of woodworking where you see me experiment with settings all day long. Sorry guys. All right, let's pull her back a little. I didn't even think about that. What if I pull it back? Yankee underscore X said, LUL. Cat said, worry not. We love you. That's why I put my butt to the camera. Because I know I'm loved. And we love watching you suffering. Oh, I know that. Yankee underscore X said, Man, I was bending and filing socks for two days, LOL. It's all good. Alright. Cat said, we can't even see your butt. It was earlier. The butt was on display earlier. Man, I'm an idiot. Come on. There we go. Okay, open you back up. Forgot the cardinal rule. Always have this guy fully retracted before setting him down. One second. <laughs> if you loosen the cap. Uh, yes, it, it, I mean, it will slide a bit further. I mean, like, yeah, I'm, I'm experimenting with putting the blade further down. Oh, I'm just... Like I said, it's a new blade getting to fiddle around with it. This thing, on the other hand, just did not like working. <laughs> like, you had to put minimum amount of blade down, and I'm 
starting to realize this is this is a hawk blade, so it's like four times as thick. Maybe, just maybe, I don't need to uh, worry too much about chatter. Because this blade, I had it basically a hair's width because anything more would chatter like hell. And it would skip and clog and there we go. Let's see. How about that? Before I do that, did I actually tighten the screws? If I don't remember, it's best to just try again. And make sure. It's working. Okay, now we're going to do the smart thing and clamp the board down. <laughs> so, I, yes, this is a mess up board, but I'm playing on the part that's messed up. Well, it's definitely biting. It's definitely high on that end. Oh. That's definitely... We'll have to play a little bit with the settings, but it's definitely working. And that little bit of filing gave me just enough room, actually. Like before, the blade was... Uh, here, I'll try and give you an idea. So, I don't know if you can see it, but bef right now we've got like a sixteenth of an inch gap between the mouth and the blade. Before, I couldn't even get a piece of paper between how little of a gap it had. So I think now it's just playing around with settings. This is also not perfect. Let's see if I can get it held to get a little bit. It is narrow, but I mean, I do use it as a joiner. So, I mean, narrow is what I want for it. These are pretty thick, so... That's about, it, about as thick as I'd want them to be. Nope. Yeah, and I, now that I've at least got it working, we can try and fed it a little, a little better. I can always open the front of the mouth if I wanted to. Like what I did was 
work a little bit on the back of the mouth where the angle is, and I could still fettle that back a little too if I really wanted to. But this is this is the uh, magnum opus of today, and I can do plenty with this. Yeah, this blade is already outperforming <laughs> um, the original. But then again, the original is kind of degraded. But I like the. What magnet? Magnus. Chan said a spinning sixteen should work really well in that plane. Mm-hmm. That I mean, I was just able to go from like as Magnus Opus is what I said, cat. Yeah, I like these are these are crunchy thick which is what I usually like to do with my planer, with, with my uh, joiner plane. And then I've got some nice, really nice soft feathery ones. So honestly, now it's just fine tuning. We got it working. And I'm sorry guys, but literally I thought this was gonna take a lot longer. So this is really all I've got planned. I mean, you you know like? I can speak other language for you. So yeah, this this might just be the let's get this guy going like um and I know like Mecca has told me several times that like like English for a change. Nine. No English. I shall only speak French, and I really only remember only three fr phrases in French, so that is a joke. Um, do. <laughs> With cheese. So, unintentionally, my number six is becoming the most blinged out plane I have. It's got a... Okay, we're going to open it a little bit further. Javis. Uh. Oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> it's almost like she, she's not made for anything but the English language. And even at that time, she's not really good at the English language. So yeah, proof of concept, we got this guy working. Like, even I don't know what that is, but then again, I don't know Swedish. I really do not know. I am learning Swedish because I am going to Holland. Oh, yeah. Anyone going to TwitchCon, go, go uh, antagonize our, our lovely little cat.
One of these days I'll go to one. And one of these days I'll go to one. Not sure I want to open the front. Uh, there's no harm in doing it. And I said, it's already working, so like all I'm doing is making it a little bit. I should have named this stream how to void your warranty in 60 days, but faithless or okay, good. That means I can come. I have no faith that I'm going to do this right, but I mean, it's already working better than it was. trying to make this thing an amazingly wide mouth plane. We're just trying to make sure that the Hawk has some adjustability. Because it's going to have to get used here soon. Because we're going to have two more boards to dimension. Woo! Also, for those who are wondering, if, if for some reason I'm not working late Wednesday, that'll be birthday stream. Come one, come all. Heckle. I can't be too worried about destroying the warranty on these planes, though, because I think this one's from, like, the 40s. Not as old as my number, my number four. That one is legitimately over 100 years old. Okay. One second, we need to break a burr here. That is very burr-alicious right there, so. There we go. Like I don't want it scratching the wood. I guess that was also one of the reasons why I didn't want to start playing with this plane it's because I didn't have a proper vice to like hold it all together while I'm trying to do all this stuff. up best I can you dropped in when you dropped in 
you know, I'm somewhat saying, you know, if I had a bedrock, this would be faster, but then I would still be taking the frog off to do this. So would be absolutely no faster. Because I'd have to take the frog off each time I filed. Okay. And yes, I played with the settings a little bit of where that frog was at this time. Okay, so we're definitely heavy on that side. Oh, oh yes, I think we are beautiful now. Because we were kind of maxing out the frog's capability last time. But I was more interested in whether or not... Was definitely a, a thick one, so We have plenty of play though now, that's what I saw earlier. So now it's just getting the frog right where it needs to be. Because it, it definitely takes. definitely getting some paper thin ones in here. All right. So yeah, now I don't need to file it anymore. We're going to get this really good piece of thick cherry back off of the ground. <laughs> what you got over here? We'll get that bottom guide put in this thing after a while. Like I said, I'm just glad. So now it is figure out. Now it's figure out what the heck, where the heck the frog wants to sit because now we got as I, as I'm looking at it, we've got a perfectly fine, usable mouth. That's a pretty mouth right there. So now we just got to play with frog placement. Frog mouth. You have a zoom. Yep. 
I always have a zoo. Seven o'clock. And a nice feeling. Ah, the ceiling. It never likes me, does it? The camera is in love with your ceiling. It should be. Yeah, it, it always is for whatever reason. All right, so now... Now we do this. We just loosen, loosen, and then we play with forward and back until it's nice. Also, I want to get the frog in the middle there. Okay. Pulling it back just a hair is probably where we're going to want to be. This is the part that you almost never see people do with their planes because this is set and forget. Like you, you really only do it if you have a new blade. Or if you have to, for some reason, hey, say like a flood, have to completely restore your blades. or. Restore your planes and everything else. I'm going to buy a new one of these screws because this thing came destroyed. Okay. Okay, that's whisper thin. A little bit thicker. And chunky. Okay, so I hate to say it, guys, but that's that's the mystery of it all. You just get faster the more you know what it's looking for, but something's wrong. With the tension here, like I guarantee you that's what's causing it. Watch. Yep, that's what's causing it, so That explains a lot. I am not sure if my ears are fatigued or you are mumbling to day of you out. Oh, I am both. Like when I'm trying to diagnose things, I end up mumbling a lot. You are both. Yep. I know that makes no sense. No, I mean, I hear you saying words that you don't say. Oh, all right. Maybe it is starting. I am losing my mind. I'm glad to have helped. Yeah, 
so that I'm going to have to replace that. I'm going to have to replace this screw. Good to know. Okay, this is way, okay, so th this, <laughs> this is way more sensitive than it used to be, but it's working, and it's working beautifully, like to the point where, does anyone want this? Because I'm not going back to it. GG. All right. I hate to say it, guys, but I really don't have anything else planned. So it's, it's one of those, like, oh, we're kind of done tonight. <laughs> what a surprise. I know. I'm very predictable and not having anything planned. Or working on anything in the meantime. Or, you know. But. But I, I really don't have anything planned, and I don't want to. I what? have an idea. You could fix the bot. No, that takes like days for me to figure out. Oh, I really do need to fix it, but I. Come on. There's no way to like stream and fix it at the same time, as far as I can tell. Like, I can't work like this. I, I know, I know. But I, I really should sign off tonight. Chance said, so cross cut a board and played with a frog. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I thought the fettling was going to take longer than that. Cat said, PETA is informed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I promise Wednesday will be longer because we got boards to plane and and everything else like I, I mean I don't think frog labor is okay with the law. Uh, you got to ask Kermit on At that one. At least I hope so. Frogs are cute. Disker 54 Kermit T. <laughs> but. All yay 5 Kerm. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, provided I can stream on Wednesday, that'll be birthday stream, and I'll be planing those boards we, we cut down today. And that should take a good bit of time. Everyone knows that takes a good bit of time. <laughs> Um, till then, uh, I'm going to read us out to, to me. That is code for kicking us out. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But I, I'm going to read us out to Miski. She's painting today. Um, have a good time and uh, say hello to him.